For more than two hours, more shops at Abosoka were closed down to send a strong signal to the Ghana Revenue Authority and government in entirety. And this was a form of demonstration against GRA's compliance and invigilation exercise. Per the compliance and invigilation exercise, GRA will deploy two officers to every shop who are going to monitor monetary activities of these traders. And this, the Abosoka Spare Part Dealers Association describes as forms of harassment and intimidation. We all understand that uh, more revenue need to be, you know, raked in to ensure that we develop the country. And so if the GRA is trying to deepen its mobilization drive, it's in the right direction, isn't it? How many jobs GRA is able to create? Before we tax somebody, you need to give the person a job before he can do that. But Ghanaians, we don't care what is support the every government. But the way a manager is going, they want to destroy business rather. Because how can you tell me? I will station somebody in your shop. For what? The traders admit that the business climate is not as conducive as it used to be. And so with this very exercise by GRA, it will cripple their businesses. We are the pace setters. Today, we've set the pace. They will follow very soon. Swami will follow. Kokopo will follow. Okay, they will follow very soon. Trust me, we are going to hit hard on GRA. They can't. If they dare. And we are daring GRA to go ahead and do so in Abu Sokai. We are daring them. We will prove to them as Abu Sokai are different. The association has therefore given government a two week ultimatum to address their concerns, else they have no option than hit the street. And this will be the headquarters of the Ghana Revenue Authority, the Finance Ministry, and Parliament. Currently, the GRA and Guta are coming up with a joint communique in that regard. Agreements are being fashioned out to ensure both parties are on the same page. And that is expected to be done by the close of October 2. George Quinn, TV3 News, Accra.